Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to build an error report. So you've, let's say you've got a data set and there are some columns which there, there's a bad, there's some, there's some data quality issues and you want to highlight those. How do you build an error report? So essentially I've created a something here which is it's just called an error report. It's saying that number of records is 120, then sales date, date has errored, there are 9 records. Sales amount has error, there are 2 records and then sales ID has error, there are 3 records. So let's say, so this is the data set that I am, I'm, I have imported and it's very hard to ca uh, casually glance it and pick out the errors. But essentially it says, so if I scroll down, you will see it's telling me that um, like some of the, the values look off, but it's if it's a bigger data set, it's very hard to call it out. So there are 120 record, the first row is the header and then it quickly tells us that the sales rate has error. So if I, and I've got the filter, so essentially I've said if there's an error, it's a true. If it's, there's no error, then it's a false. So for sales date, for example, if I hit the true, it shows me. So let's say for the sake of example, we pick sales ID 2209. So um, let's just go up 2209. And this one. So you can see there's the, uh, the month is 00. zero. Similarly for 22. 10 it's zero zero so that's why it's highlighted it and there are other things that's highlighted so how do you how do you uh, let's clear the slices for now so how do you uh, quickly check which uh, uh, columns could have problem and how do you uh, build that so how have I done it so I'm, I'm, you can see here I'm pointing to error sales table so let's just quickly go and we learn how to build it so I'll take you through the process with me so you can see here that I've got the sales data table and it's telling me sales ID has got issues sales product then date of sales, sales amount and index. So, but there are there are issues and I want to uh, surface them with the end user. So um, I, I've basically created a duplicate of this and then essentially just gone ahead and um, added uh, errors. So I, I'll create a duplicate so um, of this, so just for the purpose of demo. And I'll, I'll call it demo. Um, and what we'll do is Quickly, so uh, let's say um, sales ID, there are some issues and I know there are some issues because it's it's telling us that, but I want to surface it. So how do I go about? So on, on the add column, so I'm in Power Query Editor, on the add column, I go and say custom column and uh, we'll wait for the pop-up to come where I can add my logic. And here I'll say, And all I need to do is try. So if I say try and then I put the column name, essentially what it does is it gives me two records. It gives me the value, which is in the sales ID, plus it gives me if there's any issues with that. So if I hit OK, let's see if I hit OK. So if I if I look at this, it's giving me two column, has error and value. So I don't need the value because I already have it here. So I'll just say OK. And now all of a sudden I know which records have error because they'll be true. So, you know, if I filter on true, I can see there are these three records which the sales ID is uh, problematic. So I'll, I'll just remove this filter for now. So I'll just remove this step. So now I know, so I, so I can filter on, on all the sales ID. So it's the same process for date of sales. So I'll say custom column and then I'll say try date of sale and okay. And then again, I'll, I'll open this and uh, take the value out and convert it and 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 then so if i filter it out i can again see so all the sales date which have problems so you know these are errors um and we'll, we'll also learn how to how to go about and figure those like what are the values that have errors uh, so um and I'll, I'll i'll clear this out for now and i'll also call this um sales date has error so and similarly, um, we'll, we'll also quickly build something on sales amount. So same process, we'll just say custom column. And we'll say sales is equal to, and then I'll just use the try block. And then I say, hey, give me the sales amount. And uh, I'll, I'll hit OK. And again, so it, it, it'll, it'll probably break it up and say sales amount has error. And I, I only want the has error field because I have the other field. So now I can, if I filter out on true, so it'll give me the records where there, there are problems with the sales amount. And then again, it's an error. So that's problematic. I actually don't know what the errors are, but if you, if I go back and take you to the report, so uh, sales amount, so let's say the true. 
and you can see it's it's showing me the sales amount is blank so that that's what it is showing us uh, but you can also you can also see the values here so let me again remove the value so uh, there's not much I, i've done um, it's that that field is visible over there but let's let's say how how do we make it visible over here so for example let's go to the change types so if i for sales id i just say it's it's not um, an integer it's a text so if if i insert a step so let's go to transform convert it into text so you essentially follow the same process and i'm just going to say it's a text field here and it says are you sure and i'll say insert this so it, it automatically i've got um replace current so let's just replace the current step so and then you can see it's just in sales id to type text now if i go to the end and now if i say hey show me all the sales id which have error um it's it's saying uh, oh because we change the data type at the top it's it's uh, not not finding that but what we could have done is we could have created a duplicate of the field we needed and converted into text and then we could have just used that and shown the values so um my bad it's not something that is that straight so let's just change the data type again to whole number here um and um, i think that's pretty much it so i'll replace the current step change the data type to this whole number so uh, that's it and I, once i have got it i've i've just basically imported that data set into my report so let me just so now we are back on the report i have imported that data set so i can quickly show you how how i've gone about it so um i've gotten the count from the sales data table and then i said sales date has error from the error sales table you can also get the count from total number of records from the uh, the error sales you'll, you'll get the same number of uh, records so um and then for sales amount again from the error sales id we've got the same field for for the sales error we've used the let me just select this and you can see date of sale has error similarly a uh, sales amount has error so we've used that flag and uh, then all i've done is i've shown shown the data so it's a combination of the uh, the sales uh, data and error sales so essentially what i've done is the values you're seeing here are all coming from um like some of them are coming from the sales table and then some of them are coming from like the sales amount is coming from the sales data so essentially um you know you can you can you can build your um, error report by highlighting the errors and then you can surface it with the end user you can also sum the values if you want it so i'll i'll probably take it up as a as a next step that you can you can sum values and say if if it is possible that you know you've lost this much sales amount but then you you probably want to build some data science logic in there um so in this video we've essentially co covered how to build an error report and um, how uh, how to expose it to the end user and show them what are the issues with with the data what i'll do is i'll also upload this file on to github and leave a link in the video notes so if you want to download the file and explore the concept further uh, you you can do this and use as a working prototype so i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what i'm doing uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics cheers bye